Well, welcome to Cool Dance. Um, this is going to be uh, basically uh, a video on how to make a turtle. But before we can make a turtle, we've got to make its body. Now the body has been inspired by um, this drawing um, of a circular mat. And I started making these circular mats some time ago. And there's diff out of different strings and different chords. Um, but then thought it might be appropriate for making the shell of a, to a tortoise or a terrapin. Um, now we'll put those aside for one moment. This isn't a particularly easy um, thing to understand. Let's see if we can uh, give you a few ideas before we take a piece of cord and attempt to do this. Well, at the at the end, you can see that it's got three times around, yeah. So they're not showing you the second time around as such. This is a bit awkward because you'd think when they're asking you to do this sort of arrangement that it's all unders and overs, unders and overs. But if you look here, that's over. That's over. Um, that one's obviously coming under and this one's coming under and they're, they're all the same in the same sort of area so you have to be aware of that you have to follow this quite to the T to be quite honest um, I found it a little bit awkward where it shows you um, this one now this one's been if you can imagine a fit on the end of this one and then bringing it up under and along next to this one so it's it's come around up through that little triangle keeping um, this cord to the right hand side of that cord there so it comes up over under over under um, same as that one it's as though it's, you, you've got to imagine that there's a length on there and it's going to go back on itself again under over under over so we're going to attempt this but uh, i'm not sure how well i'm going to be able to do because it, the way i do it is grab hold of a piece of 15 feet of cord and start working with five feet of it so I'll just set up that process because I'm holding the camera at the moment but I'll set that process up and we'll have a go. Right, welcome back. So I've got myself 15 feet of cord. I've measured off five feet of it and that's the five feet. Come down onto my table and inserted the pin just about the five foot mark and then on the ten foot piece that's hanging down from the table yeah, down, down from the table I've got a fit on the end of that one so I'll put that down onto the floor just one other thing um, you can see on this that it's not all that perfect the reason being is that this is quite a cheap cord yeah it's not got any really real rigidity to it I'm still quite pleased with it and I'll probably still make a turtle out of it but um, it can work out better. I can't show you the original because the original is on its way to America having been sold. But uh, this cord, little, I don't know where I got it from, but it seems a little bit more rigid. And I think it's more or less 3mm rather than 5mm, uh, 4mm. Um, but uh, where do we go? I'm going to take this very, very slowly because I'll mess it up otherwise. All I'm going to do is follow this. Um, I will do a still of this. Um, it's really helpful, but you must follow sort of one, two, three, four to, to actually achieve it. Um, but perhaps I can speed that up a little bit. So the way I'm seeing this is I've got my pin on the five foot. Um, I'm going to bring it up about two or three inches and make a loop there. I'm going to put the pin 
in the loop. I've got a soft material underneath here, so uh, the pins tend to stay in it fairly well. So we've gone up around there. We're going to then come back down more or less the length or the yeah the distance back down to the beginning. But we're going to bring that round as another loop just here and put a pin in there. I'm hoping that you can see all this. Now, as I said, it's not over and unders. This one now wants to loop underneath here. So we've got under and under, if you like. So that one comes up. I think it comes up like so. Um, let me just, just make sure of that. Yep. So we've got it like so. So we're going to put a pin in the top of that loop. So all we've done at the moment is gone over, round, put this underneath here and to there. Right, so that's that to there. Now, so we're actually to that point there. We've just gone up, round, round and down. Now it's telling us to grab hold of that end and go grab hold of that end, go over along, go into a loop and then carry on. So that's what exactly what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that over there. That one goes over. We're going to restrain that with a pin, like so. Now it's going to leave this area now and twist. But when it twists back on itself, it needs to go underneath, underneath itself. So if I just pull that through, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. So we've got that effect and so that we don't lose that we're going to stick a pin in that loop and possibly one in that crossover because that goes that one comes up outside the of this extreme area comes round in a loop over the top of where it went out went out there comes back into the area here they're both over the top but then it goes under so it follows on that this one's going to go over under and over i believe i'll just check my plan make sure that i've not done it wrong um Yeah, that's okay. So we're over, we need to come back up towards the knot itself, but we're gonna have a loop. So we are pin that loop. We need a little triangle just here, a shape. It shows you a little triangle just there yeah and we're going to be going up and over and under and over to get to the other side <clears throat> so we just make sure that that is under over under over and under. I'm just checking the plan as we go. So that's come round nicely now. There's there's the loop going that way. Hope that's uh, still on the line. Now we've got to go back down this way. 
Now we've ended up coming underneath here and you think, oh, you go back over, but you don't, you go underneath again. So we're going to go under, over, under, over, under, and over. Coming out to this side of the knot. I'm going to stick a pin in that top loop there. That one there. Now, according to this, we're on stage two now. We, we pick up on this one, which is that one there. Bring it back up through the knot, under, over, and then round and down to here. So let's see if we can do that. So we're going to go under. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to tie this knot without the, the diagram, I must admit. Under. I think I'll put a pin there. So if we've gone under that one, pound to a pinch, we've got to go over and then under. If I can get hold of it, there's not a lot to get hold of. So that one's gone under. Yep, so we've gone under, over, under. over and we've got to get underneath that cross one bring that over like so come under that one over under should have put another fit on this end end of this one it would probably have been helpful over under and over and under so that five feet has was just about enough there yeah so what we've ended up with is those two like that there we've got so uh, and then that emulates this one yeah and what it's saying is that this one where we started off has now got to come around up and double up with this one all the way around it go all the way around and then it will triple but I'm going to go around twice well I'm just going to go around one more time so it makes two and then we'll be taking the pins out I'll come back to you when I get round well I'll just start it so you're not com too confused I'm more confused than what you are at the moment so this is where we started. We've got the five feet on, a, on the end of the fit. We're going to come up through that little duck triangle. And just follow this cord forevermore. Yeah. Where it goes over, you go over. Where it goes under, you go under. I have tied this with 12 feet, but uh, I think 15 feet you're much safer. You don't have to do any mucking around. Right. So we've got two cords 
going up there now. Now it's going to come round the top and it's going to come back the same as this one over, under, over, under, over. Um, under, over, under. Yeah, got to concentrate on this or else it does actually run away from you. Right, that's not too bad at all. Just make sure my pins stay where they are for the moment. We're coming round that base of that uh, pin there and we're going to go up and follow that one there. So it comes round, it goes over this loop here, under that one, over, under, over, can't quite, need a longer fit really. That's okay though, we can manage. Right, now we're gonna come up inside that loop. You can see we're on the outside of that, that bottom loop there. And then when we reach the top, we're on the inside of that loop. So we're going under, over, under, over, and we're keeping to the right, right side of the cord at all times. inside this bottom loop here and under those two I'm going to follow this cord here over under over under and then it just goes off underneath that one there All right is back around the top there. Losing part of another project I'm into. I've just got into doing um, terraniums, um, which is plants in bottles basically. But I fancy doing a power cord terranium. And I've got some grand ideas for that. I think it'll look quite good. Lots of little insects made out of paracord amongst paracord plants. So you might see that come, come online soon, or you might not. Right, we're just following through. We're nearly at the point where we've done two turns right the way around the knot.
just keep it together now. I don't want to lose it. Right, so we're going under two, over two, under two, over two. Be interesting to see if you can see any see what you need to see from this video and obviously that will determine whether I print it or not or put it on online but I'm hopeful right go across the knot again over two under two over two under two over two under two just about come to the end of tying the second round on this knot now you could leave it there and go around a third time um, if I actually go up through there I've just started my third time but what I found is that the the pins were a little bit awkward so what I tend to do is take all the pins out now. Now that I've got to start on my third go round. And there we go. That is in fact, well it's not, it's more than that. We've passed, we've passed that. So there we are. I've just started that third one there and the idea is to follow on around here around here around here um, so that we got three all the way around I'll do three then I'll show you what we do then come back to you so there we are after three passes all the way around this knot uh, a bit unsightly at the moment with bigger loops here and there but what we're going to do now is tighten it up I tend to tighten up from the short end not the end with the fit that we just finished with I tend to keep hold of that tight on there see where it's going along here which is hmm, let's make sure I've got the right one here that one there so until I got a bit of tension going just try and put it down nicely a little bit at a time it takes quite a long time to actually tighten this up but as I say if you've got a fairly decent cord with a bit of rigidity to it, it does help um, so I'm going to get a good way on, see I've managed to get that, that bit of uh, slack there and it will probably grow as I go, as I give it a little bit of a tug. And hopefully we can keep all the cables at threes, threes, threes and threes as opposed to um, 
well it's diminished a little bit on the softer cord but uh, I'll tighten this up and I'll come back to you so there the there's the body after one tightening I think it's going to need at least one more tightening and I'll do that exactly the same way is restrict that end find a bit and sort of start to tension it through and I'll come back to you when I've done it a second time well there we have it that's uh, tightened up twice see I've got a little bit of foam in there a bit of an old foam egg I've uh, just been manipulating it into that shape um, I will cover this in some uh, tape and it will go be stuck inside to actually reinforce the, the body so I mean it, it doesn't squash down like that it will stay solid but uh, so that's the hardest part of this project um, go on next to actually do the head and the legs and the tail and perhaps just embellish it a little bit with a, a bit of colour but uh, yeah that's the first part of this video join me again for the second part well welcome back um, going the next stage forward from the body now the body has now got a piece of foam inside um, you can see that it was part of um, an egg shape which I just split a bit off wrap that bit in tape and then it fits into there to rigid, make it more rigid but you don't really want to glue that on there just yet in case you want to embellish on that so you could actually take some cords through and through and through I don't intend on showing that part of the tutorial but um, it's down to your own sort of uh, artwork what I do intend on showing is how I made this head here and one of the four legs let's start with the head the head is a stop knot a triple corded stop knot and it transverses into um, a, a six cord crown knot down to about a, a, a wall knot um, and I'm going to show how to make this one now right so for the head we need three pieces of uh, two millimeter cord all three pieces are two feet long I've got two orange and one green I'm just going to fold those over here and we're going to do a stop knot do a stop knot with those three so that those three go over the middle finger make sure we've got the green one in the middle now it's all about uh, keeping things really neat to get a good effect so we now we know that we've started off like this we've got those coming off nicely like so those three there we wrap round the thumb take our time on this now you can see that I've twisted it just twist it underneath there I'm going to grab hold of those three which will help us keep the knot formed and plus it makes life a little bit easier in a minute now what we have got to do is make sure that the green stays in the middle and it doesn't it crosses over there so this is the awkward bit we've got to bring one of these oranges this outside orange right the way on the outside of the knot a um, bit fiddly but I'll show you what I'm trying to achieve now that one goes on to the middle don't want to lose our three cords down through the middle bring them back up again now have we achieved that I think so yeah that's looking good we've got the green cord 
on line here, the green cord in the middle of the two oranges all the way around. Now, these three have got to go up underneath here and then through the slot, but they got to go in sequence. So the first orange here comes under and through. The green comes under and through. Try and keep them nice and neat. And the orange comes through then. Right, see if we can smarten this up a little bit. Right, not looking too good at the moment. Um, that one there doesn't seem to want to be playing. Let's get that one over there. Right, I think we might be somewhere close to it. This is the second time of me trying to... No, that's not right. That's not right at all. That one should be coming underneath that orange. I might have to do this again. As I say, um, but this is the second time of me trying to film this. So I wonder if I can actually get it going. Um, that one's got to come. over there like so. Getting close to it, but not quite there. Yeah, it seems to have just fallen into position now. This is what I was trying to achieve where you have the orange on each side of the green right the way through that knot. I can usually do it, it's just being online I'm, a, I'm aware that there's people watching and that it's got to be right. But there we go, so that's the first part. Now these three I've got to go around the base in sequence, so orange first then up through the middle, green, up through the middle, and then the orange, up through the middle. I'm twisting the knot round but keeping hold of these three at the bottom. Orange has got to go round these and up through. Green. Around and up through. And the last orange. Come on. You know you want to. Right. So there we have six. Six chords coming through like that. Now we want to try and keep it as neat as we can. Just take a little bit of time to work the chords where they should be. Now this is a loose knot. A loose stopper knot. That's the idea of it anyway. Got those three loops there, we're not, we'll just leave them there for the moment. We'll take this slack out of this, just this one awkward one. Right. Now the idea is that that is going to be the head. Yeah, like so. Got to get rid of those loops. 
We've not pulled anything really tight at the moment. That's all fairly loose. But what we're going to do is take half that loop up one up through one side and the other half up through the other side, keeping these more or less the same length. So if I take in half of that loop, half of the loop, and half a loop again. Bring those round. Yeah, I'm having to uh, film this again because the uh, mic didn't work on doing the other head. It might be that I used the other head and not this one, but I just wanted to show how this was achieved. Just following that slack or pulling that slack through the knot without any real effort whatsoever. Yeah. Now these are going to be pulled up through now one two and three keeping our knot nice and flat so we took that half up through these three up through here so we're looking to see where these the, these three go around here. I'm pretty sure it's around the back here. Let's just have a look. Yeah, there we go. So we're going to pull the rest of that knot like so. Pull the green into the knot like so. Last orange into the knot like so and we can te tease those three around the slack of those three around like so There we go, that's uh, not turned out too bad at all after all that fussing around. So I'm going to stop there and just make sure that my sound's going and then we'll cont continue on with making the neck for this back shortly. Right, so there we are. Yeah, the sound was working. Um, let's crown this. Uh, what do we need? We need all those strands down like so but we really need two strands either side of the two uh, the two greens so we've got two, two two orange a green two orange a green yeah that doesn't seem all that long that one i'm hope hopefully that we've got enough right so let's start this off by going clockwise with the green one over the orange, over that green, over that one, over that one, and then this one down through the green loop. Take our time. Because I've had to position those um, cords against where they were, the first knot doesn't come out fantastic is what when you go to the second part of this knot it looks a bit better um, 
but we can hope. too bad. So we've crowned that one there. Shall I show you or shan't I? Yeah I will show you. Now if you was to crown continuously clockwise you'd end up with um, your greens spiked round I will like my greens, <laughs> sounds like I'm talking about vegetables, I like the greens to be straight and the orange to be straight. So the round you achieve that when you're crowning, let me show you. We've just gone round once clockwise, yeah, so this time we're going to go anti-clockwise, starting with the green. then down through the green loop. Now this knot should turn out a little bit better than the first one because we've got some substance underneath it. We should get a nice little floral pattern with a bit of luck. Yeah, it's starting to come now. Hopefully you can see that little floral looking pattern there. Just make sure we've got it nice and tight. Right, so we've crowned once clockwise, and then the next crown we crowned anti-clockwise. Now we're going to go back to clockwise again. So what we're doing with the crowning is alternating the direction it goes, and that straightens up the cords, if you like them straight, which I do. Makes it have a nice little effect. So what I'm going to do is just carry on for about five or six laps of this uh, knot, or and then I will get to the last one where we got to um, make turn it into a wall knot, and I'll show you how we do that. So I'll just push on a bit with this one because I tend to go too slow online but there you go That's coming out nice back with you shortly all right so there we go we're going to say that that's long enough now it's up to you how long you want to make the neck but we're going to do the last one which is going to be a wall knot now we've just i've just finished going anti-clockwise so i'm going to go clockwise with the crown as you know, a, a walnut is a crown plus. Yeah, so it's a, basically a crown knot, but you just add a, another section to it. And it's really quite a useful knot because one, it changes the direction of the cord that you're, you're using, and two, it neatens things up a bit. Right, so we've got this first part of that crown yeah so I'm going to follow on going clockwise like I did just a minute ago this first green one's going to go don't know if you can see that let's get make sure that you can get on the green is going to go underneath this loop here and underneath there yeah up through there through the center he's going that one this one, now that's just going to go up through like so. This one's going to go up by the green one into the center. Green one is going to go, right, let's make sure we get this right because the green one is a bit short. Up 
and into the center. This orange one, a bit difficult to show a walnut. Up through there. And then the last one should be up through with the green, like so. Now if we can keep them keep hold of them all, we just pull just a little like so. Grab hold of the ends, give it a bit, bit of a tug, not too much. Then we can pull one, two. Now the idea is that you shuffle the knot by pulling down with your fingers and pushing up at the same time and they tend to gather together here. It is tightening up slightly, can you see? It leaves you a nice, well, give each one of those a pull again. One, almost there you see, look. I'm quite pleased with that, quite pleased. Now, like the other one, if I can find it, I'm going to cut off the ends about an inch to an inch and a half longer. The reason being is that that is going to be stuck on underneath the belly. Um, if I get my lighter. We've got them nice and flat like that. I just fortify them with a bit of super glue so they don't all spring about. And there we have the head, which will still got glue on that one. Um, which the idea is that you attach it underneath like so, it will be glued underneath, like so. And also the legs will be glued underneath, like so, yeah. Um, I'll show you how to do a leg. That's, a, that's quite clear on how to do the, um, the head. The leg is, I'll, I'll come back to you shortly when I've got cut some cord. Right, let's make the leg. Now, we, what we need now is three 20 inch pieces of two millimeter cord. I've got one orange and two green and they're doubled over. I'm gonna try and keep that pattern on the loop there. And the reason, that I, well, the way I'm gonna keep that pattern is a piece of tape. I put a piece of tape around that loop, like so. And very much like the neck, what we're gonna do now is crown six, yeah, crown six cords once we've got them in the right positions, yeah? Like so. And again, I, I alternate the uh, way that I go around um, starting off clockwise and then anti-clockwise. So let's do a clockwise one first. One, two, three, four, five, and then the sixth one will go down through that orange that we started with. Yeah. And the idea is to crown out to the length you want the leg to be. 
and then you do the walnut again. Now I'm not going to go right the way through this sequence because as I said I've, I have actually got um, all the arms and all the legs and the bodies that I've, I need so I've actually got four of these already but uh, yeah you would actually carry on and crown that alternative crowns like so yeah make sure it's online like that to the length that you need which will be about like that then the wall knot at the end bit of super glue around the edges around the edges of the first knot just to keep it in position and as I say these are going to be glued underneath the body now I'm saying that we're going to glue these all underneath the body what we need is something to hide all that uh, business so what I'm suggesting is that we do something like this now this isn't actually for this one but it's more or less the right size yeah so that one is going to go like so and then the legs and the body uh, sorry and the head will slot underneath like so and that will make it look nice and neat let me show you with the head So that's the idea of it and you think to yourself well you can still see those in the middle so let's do another cobra in the middle over the top of that one yeah so that's what I, I've done I've actually worked out this this um, about six inches around here so I've done a cobra of six inches which is about six feet of cord three feet of red three feet of green gone around that then I've done two feet of green two feet of red and it's going to go inside like that but in fact on ours it's going to be orange and green so I'm going to be doing cobras of orange and green for this one and I also might be doing some orange or brown um, just as a highlight in some of these like I did on the original but I'll come back to you when I've got a little bit further on and we'll see where we've got to cheers well welcome back let's sum up what we've got here before the glue up I don't intend on gluing all this up with yourselves I'm going to take um, some time out and glue it. But what, do, what have we got? We've got the um, circular mat, which we used 15 feet of 550 cord. And we used this design to actually achieve it. Yeah. Um, I've embellished that with some orange. I think it looks quite good. Um, we've got the piece of foam that goes inside. That's not necessary. But it, I like it because it gives you a bit sturdy, makes it sturdy. Yeah, so that's the body. We've got um, some two millimeter um, weaves here. I've forgotten what the cobras. Uh, two millimeter cobras um, to actually cover what we're going to do with the legs and the head. Now the head. Is going to be glued on like so and the legs are going to be glued on like such and then this will come over and be glued on over the top now the only thing um, that you might notice is that I've done a, a couple of snake knots on a piece of doubled over cord and that's going to be the tail yeah um, with the head we had uh, three pieces of cord doubled over 
um, and they were two feet long. Um, and we had two orange and one green and we did a stop knot. And then with the six cords coming off of it, we crowned them coming up to a wall knot and then we just left it at that. So that's going to be our head and neck. With the um, legs, all four legs were more or less the same. Um, we put a piece of tape over um, three pieces of cord, which were two millimeter, and there was uh, 20 inches long. Each of those three was 20 inches long. A bit of tape like that, then crowned the six cords coming out of it and into a wall knot. Now you can see that these are all slightly curved now. That's because I've bent them to shape and then just put a bit of super glue there because I want them standing up like so. Yeah. Um, I, I am making some eyes. I did try Google eyes. I didn't particularly like the Google eyes. So I've made some bits of glue and we're making some little eyes to go on it. But um, yeah, I'm waiting for those to dry completely. Then I'll have a good old glue up and I'll come back and show you what we've done. Cheers. Well, welcome back to the last part of this tutorial. As you can see, I've had a bit of a glue up. It all went well. I just used the hot glue gun and a bit of uh, super glue where needed. This was the main character of our video, of our tutorial. Um, he's turned out pretty well. I did go ahead and make one out of the silver top, the silver back. That's turned out quite well. I put some stills on this, um, still photographs of these um, on this tutorial. But uh, please have a go. Um, it's good fun. And thanks for watching from Cord Art. Cheers.